my guy just trifecta today feels good to put another professional driver out so i had three tests this week i had a trifecta i'm gonna have a retest and then i had a trifecta you know and and it happens people get nervous on the test and you know they make a mistake that they didn't make in practice you know it, i can't even say that because really he made that mistake in practice and we worked on fix it how to prevent it how to fix it you know if you turn your wheel the wrong way and you back up and you realize that you turn it the wrong way leave the wheel the same way and pull up it's going to put you right back in the same position that you left from from where you messed it up and i got my new student coming in today and we'll be meeting up and we'll go do some backing and stuff we'll we'll have some fun but yeah those test day jitters man they get some people you just gotta keep keep yourself calm and do what you practice um here lately i've been seeing a lot of people that are super nervous about this test this test is just what you did in practice treat it like no other treat it like another day of practicing with your trainer hey just pretend that there's no one out there no one out there testing you just do your thing man handle your business that's what's going to get you through this test what's not going to get you through this test is you panicking you know and it's easier said than done to remain calm yeah uh, keeping yourself calm is actually harder than it sounds and getting your mind right is harder than it sounds you know, it, all all you're doing is stressing yourself out for nothing. You came out here to get this job to for that opportunity, and they give it to you. Here's your test, man. Show us what you got. Show us what you've been practicing. Show us how much you learned. You know, it's a skills test is what it is. So it's, it's showing that you have the skills to do this. And then whenever you go to TNT, it's time to perfect your skills. So look at this test as, hey, I'm learning. I'm doing good. I'm making myself better. I'm improving because at the end of the day it's, it's not a hard test and the examiners are really awesome so some people stress out because the examiner they're all like man the examiner is going to be mean or something like that they think they're going to be mean I'll tell you the examiners are funny cool guys and gals and they just out here to do their job they're a scorekeeper you can look at them as a scorekeeper so all they're really doing is keeping score they're all like OP hit a line check Oh, he forgot to say that in his pre-trip check. And man, whatever you, if you say the wrong wrong name of a part in a pre-trip, they don't care. What they care about is can you check it to see if it's safe, you know? So they're not there to purposely make you feel, fail. Because I had people before, the examiner was watching me like a hawk, man. He, he was just trying to fail me. And I'm all like, dude you passed if he was trying to fail you i don't think that he would have failed at doing it if he he knows a lot about trucking and a lot about testing people and i'm sure he could have figured out a way to make you fail if he wanted to i said the dude's watching you because he's he's seeing if you know what you're talking about he's seeing if you know what you're checking to be safe you know he's checking to make sure that you're being safe on your back and he's watching you while you're driving making sure you're checking your mirrors you know being safe out there that's what it boils down to the examiner's just a scoreboard don't worry about that and then dot comes out here sometimes and do, does their evals don't let the dot officers scare you they're not even here to watch you they're to watch the examiner and make sure that your mr your scoreboard over there mr examiner that's keeping score is is keeping score right Have you ever been to like a kid's game like a t-ball or something like that where they messed up the score well they're just making sure that your scoreboard doesn't get messed up either to help you pass or to purposely fail you and they're not about that over here the examiners are super cool super awesome guys like they're good friends and i get the question a lot hey who does the examiners work for well they're they work for prime so they kind of want you to pass they're all like man this guy's gonna be good for the company and they want you to pass now they can't make you pass and they can't tell you what to do during your test like there is they can't do it they have to make sure that they're by the book like call it down the middle like you know they're the referees out there on the field if you play sports most of the stuff out here on the test is 90 percent mental 10 percent physical so it's not even like 
You don't have to run. You don't have to go out there and do push-ups and stuff like that. I mean, look at me. Do you think I'm out there doing push-ups before, like, I start my backing and stuff? Uh, you know, the closest workout I get is uh, picking up my coffee cup and taking a drink or, you know, stopping and getting donuts and eating donuts in the morning. Like, that's some work right there. Lifting that heavy donut up to bring it to my mouth to take a bite. You know... It's not it's not that serious out here. The mental thing is what's getting most people on their test right now and it's the it's the fear and the hey, I don't know what to expect. It's a test. I'm nervous. Like hey, just do it like you do every day. Because like I was talking to one of my friends out here and they were all like, "Hey, I don't know what's going on with my student, but this is like the fourth test and you know, he he does perfect out here when we're backing. Like, he's zero points out here when we're backing. But when he goes to the test, he just messes it up. Like, just keeps doing the same thing over and over. And what it is is nerves. Like, I had one of my students was the world's worst at it. So what he would do is he fell straight line back. Well, first he fell pre-trip. So he came back the next day, passed pre-trip, fell straight line back. Next day he came out there. Passed straight line back, failed the offset. Next day, he came out there, passed the offset, failed the alley dock. Next day, he came out there, he passed uh, the straight line, the offset, and, and then he failed at the parallel. And I said, all right, dude, what are you doing? You fell on everything on the first try. And he said, he said, man, I just get nervous the first time I do something out there. I was like, dude, you do it in practice. It's not the first time you did it. So the next day he came out past all that and then he went for his drive and I, right before he went for his drive I said, bro, don't you fail this drive, man, because you know how to drive this truck. And and believe it or not, he was one of the worst drivers. Like, he was a bad driver. Bad driver. Like, no matter what I could do, like, I couldn't make him any better. Like, I, we fought and fought and fought. In my opinion, he was a bad driver. Now, in everybody to other people's standards he was a decent driver in my opinion like you know i'm tough i'm real tough a lot of people think that i'm laid back from this from youtube and stuff they're all like man he's chill he's laid back but i am tough on the drive i make sure that you are being safe 100 percent. so he was having it he wasn't checking his mirrors and like i wanted him to enough um he wasn't staying focused in his turns i mean he was doing a lot of stuff trying to be extra safe and it was causing major issues and it was being unsafe you know and that's where i had issues so and i'm all like you gotta stay focused here so to me you know he he wasn't getting better he was like still looking everywhere and you know i can understand being safe being um safe but there, when you're over cautious it causes other issues but he ended up going on that drive and he passed that drive. He passed it and the examiner was like, he did great on his drive. And I was all like, yeah, well, did he do this? He goes, yeah, but you know, he made it, he still made it safe. He still did a safe turn. And I was like, did he do this? He was like, yeah, he did that a couple times. He took a couple points for that, like driving with one hand and stuff like that. You know, to me, that's not safe. You have a steer tire blow, you know, you need both hands on there to react. So anyways he passed but the thing is nerves like i tell my students do whatever it takes whatever you prepare normally for a test or a big event i say do that that way you won't be nervous like if you work out work out if you just study more study more if you don't do nothing and you meditate meditate if you pray to god or whoever you pray to go ahead and pray to them you know whatever gets your mindset right because this is a mental fight this is a mental fight. It's 90% mental out here, 10% physical. You know, get get your mind ready because it's battle time for your mind. You got to fight yourself from being doing extra that day, thinking too much. You know, just go out there and do your job. Like do what you always have done. But hey, it happens. There's no reason to get mad or upset like you know, it happens. Not everybody out here passed their their test on the first try. Some people didn't pass it on the second. Some people didn't pass it on the third. Some people passed it on the fourth. And they are some of the best drivers out here. 
you know, it doesn't matter. No job will ever ask you, hey, did you try factor on your test? Did you pass everything once? Did you get zero points on your test? They're not going to ask you that. They're just, oh, you got CDL? Let's get you hired because we need a driver here. You know, they're going to look at your your record. Hey, he hasn't had no accidents. And never are they going to ask you how many times you took the test. Like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description for a link to apply. My driver code's in there. You know, there's some other stuff in there that you need to check out. My recruiter's phone number's in there. Like, comment, and subscribe. And, you know, ask, save your questions for the lives on Thursday night, 7 p.m. Like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell. Get my latest lives. Get my newest videos. Also, in the description, there's a link to fill out an application and get my recruiter. My recruiter's good. Don't forget to drop that referral code COXDJL. Also, my phone number is 417-894-8098. Drop me a call, text me something.